Hi again, everybody. So we have a question that I got through my YouTube messages. And this is something I had, I had uh, made a video about in the past, but I wanted to touch on it again. And this comes in from someone named Lex. And again, that was off, this is off of YouTube. Hi, Ollie. Been following your channel for a while. Since three years, I, man 28, became aware of my narc father and mother. In one of your videos on triggers, you talk about the pounding on any subject the narc can find on you. I became very socially anxious as a result of my parents. Do you have any experience like that? Greetings, Lex. Well, of course. And that's something that we all deal with is social anxiety brought on by what I call in my video, you're, all, you're on trial for life. That pounding, you know, is basically evidence the, the narcissist uses against you to keep you in check. And that is so you don't challenge them, so they, you, you, they get you to do whatever they want you to do, and they can keep their narcissistic world as they want it. Um, social anxiety is something I believe probably about 90% of us, 90 to 95% of us, have to deal with. Because when you're on trip, when, when anything and everything that the narcissist can find has been used against you your entire life, especially when it's coming from your parents, how could you be anything else but socially anxious? When you walk around, you feel like you are on you are in a trial. The trial never ends. You are already guilty. See, and that's the problem. See, you're already guilty. It's not even so much to, to trial. It's almost like a, an endless sentencing hearing. And your sentence is a lifetime of being on trial. So it's like a circular type of argument that it's why you can't escape it as long as you're around your narcissistic abusers, which is why I constantly am pounding no contact, no contact, no contact. So how we deal with it mostly is because we're always waiting to be attacked by somebody and the problem is we don't know where the attack is coming from but we know the attack is going to be about something about us you know something some somebody doesn't like about us and even times that you're not being attacked you might take something as an attack because you are so socially anxious because you are constantly on trial you're already guilty. There's no being proven innocent. No, 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 no. This is this is a, a, a this is basically a sentencing allocution hearing where you know all your quote unquote victims are now giving testimony on what a piece of garbage you are, and it never ends. And the sentence is simply: you stay on trial for life as long as you get to stay. As long as you, narcissistic victim, want to stay in my good graces or in my graces at all, you are going to be put on trial for life. And that's why we're so socially awkward and we get to the point where we don't want to leave our houses, we want to sit in a dark room, we want to be introverts, because you get tired of it. And fighting, and fighting for your own being just fighting not to be picked on and fighting not to be, you know, hammered with every little point that's, that the narcissist can use against you makes you socially anxious, makes you want to not meet new people, you know. And I find something, I was finding that I would get more socially anxious when I was with people and everything was going well. It's like, wow, I'm having a good time. And only then you get that voice that creeps into the back of your head, like, oh, well, the attack's going to come. How's this going to end? And this. And, and then you just become very dour. And you can almost feel like your personality change on the spot. Like, from one second, everything's fine. As soon as that thought pops into your head, you just start, you start regressing right there. And usually you find an excuse to go home and lock yourself away and because who wants to really deal with that 
So, yeah, that's how we deal with it. And that, that, that does make a lot of sense, and that's why, because you're always on trial. The way to deal with it is to cut your abuser out of your life. No contact. Because as long as that, because you got to look at your abuser like prosecutors. They're basically prosecuting, prosecuting your life and your being and who you are. They're the prosecutor, they're the judge, they're the jury, they're the executioner. But the trial never ends. Trial never ends. So, uh, that's my opinion on that one. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know what you think. Again, thank you everybody who's donated to the GoFundMe account. It's over 3,300, almost 70% of goal. If you can help out, the link's in the box. If you can share, link's in the box. I'd appreciate it. Again, I'd love to get it all wrapped up by the end of the month. Thank you to everybody who's donated. This is Ollie Matthews. I'll see you all again real soon.